The Aberfan disaster was a terrible tragedy that took place on Friday the 21st of October 1966. It claimed the lives of 116 children and 28 adults. A slurry broke away from Tip 7 and rolled down the hill and engulfed Pant Glass Junior School. What can you remember of that day? Because he uh, was only 16 years old at the time. Remember I seen it on the news. You saw it on the news. Yeah. Didn't come down. That's school. right. That's right. The table thing. That's right, it was. Yeah, all them children and the school teachers. That's right. They got better, didn't they? That's right, yeah. Because that, that tip was um on, uh, on um, was it? On a mountain slope, wasn't it? And it overlaid a national spring over near Merthyr Tidville. And you, you used to live in Merthyr Tidville for a short time. Can you remember Margaret Elford talking about it? Yeah, she told me what she was. The television news was there uh, as well, and you interviewed her. Yeah, she's the one to tell you. I, on the, she said she was standing on the door. Yeah. On the front door. That's she right. I didn't know her then. Mm. She told me what to there was There was a heavy rain uh, that weekend, wasn't it? Like it is now. It's We've had rain here as well. With uh, that storm over the UK and stuff. And, um, yeah, there's a... Uh, on the tip of slide, isn't it? That's right, because there was a build-up of water there, and, uh, you know, um, and, uh, of course, within the tip, and uh, it, it caused the slide down the, uh, as, with a, down the hill with a slurry, and it, and it claimed all those children. And there was a dinner lady there, and uh, she, tr she saved the, the, the lives of five children, but th th she didn't survive. And they, they found her body with a pound note because she was collecting money for the dinner that day at 9.15. Uh, it was a half term that day. And it's uh, just con gone quite past nine now. So we're here to remember the, the 116 children and uh, the 28 adults. Some of them were teachers, but it also claimed a few houses as well, which is, isn't always remembered. But it's a very sombre time up there. You, you, they don't like talking about it, do they? Um, no. Yeah, and the tip was responsibility of the National Coal Board, but they wouldn't take responsibility because there was a national inquiry as well, wasn't there? Yeah. They That's didn't... right, they wouldn't accept responsibility for it. Why? Well, obviously they didn't want blood on their hands, did they? Um... It's their fault, they put another tip there. Well, yes, yes. It's like the parents said, they, they didn't die, it wasn't tragic, they were murdered, they said, because, I mean, they knew, obviously, there was bad weather, and it was overlooking the school and stuff yeah. as well. Um, yeah, but uh, the teachers tried to do their best. Yeah, no, no. Um, they said, get under the table quick, because they heard this roar coming down the hill and stuff. Uh, that's right. Um, so it's 57 years ago, and I've seen nothing on the news to, to, to mark the anniversary. It's beyond tonight. Maybe so. I don't know. Maybe it's too early to say. Mm. So, um, what are you doing today then? I'm going down and doing a lot, my lottery, Morrison. Oh, yeah. This thing, and, you know, that's not a lot. Right. It's just a storm. Um, a storm, yeah. It's terrible weather. Rain. Rain then, like it is now. The National Corbo should have known, really. Um, well, yeah, they should be be responsible. They put they put a tip there. Yeah. They should have been uh, prosecuted. That's right, Pine Glass Junior School. A terrible tragedy that was. Somebody predicted it. Somebody had like a premonition of it on a channel, but obviously. Yeah, that's. I think that's all we can say, really, because I mean, obviously, this this subject has been covered over and over, and. Uh, just remembering those children. No, what can I say? It's a terrible tragedy. Did you see it on the television, the news, or did you hear it on the radio? On telly. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we were on the order to chip in the army. Yeah, that's right, the army. Fireman. My Uncle Mike said... Um, yeah, he was there. Yeah, uh, my Uncle Mike, Michael Dexter, he said he was, he was there helping them, you know? And remember the neighbour, Vaughan, I can't remember his last name, but he said he, he saw... Um, did I say it? He actually saw limbs there. It's, it's worse than, yeah. But, but they, they, 
I, I don't want to go into details, obviously, because, like I said, it's been said before. But with that, I think we'll move off this subject and... Uh, they did die in the miners. They did die, even the miners, uh, neighbours. Uh, people from the valleys came over and, and helped and all. Yeah, as I said, the army, the firemen were there. They were seen on the telly digging with shovels and uh, on the collies. Diggers? Uh, JCBs? Yeah. yeah. I know there's, there's a lot of people there helping. Yeah. All weekend, where? They all shipped in. But now there's a memorial there. Now, I've, I've been down to Aberfan, but I haven't been there. But, um, like I say, we used to live in Merthyr for a short time, and that was very rarely mentioned. They built, this, they built the school back, didn't they? Huh? They built the school, didn't they? No, the... no, they didn't. they got a memorial thing there, haven't they? Oh. Uh, Pint Glass Junior School. So with that, I say thank you for that, then, and sharing your memories of, of doing that. <clears throat> Yeah. Just remember them, eh? Mm.